Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, I'm doing my little review here on my Leo James Monsoon Ocean Blue guitar. She is beautiful. Got it at uh, Amazon. It's going for two thirty nine, I believe. And I've had it for, I guess, going on three weeks. Just have not done the video. Didn't even do. I didn't even record the unboxing. And I was going to change the strings because I'm. I thought they came with nines, but I measured on my micrometer. It said nines. I mean tens rather. And but the strings feel pretty good. I cleaned it up. You know, just with a rag and get the dirt off the strings. And I was going to shine the, uh, take the strings off, put nines on there and polish the frets. But they're not that bad. It's got the rolled ends, El Nico 5 pickups. Look, you only have a volume pot, that's it. And then your bridge selector, bridge and uh, mech selector. Now, the action was a little high. It had a little bit too much relief for me, and I lowered it a little bit. I um, straightened out the neck a little bit and went down ever so slightly with the with the saddles. And it's it's good. I, I like it the way it is. And they're, ten, they're tens, but they feel pretty good. And it's just a good-looking guitar. There's a good bit of reviews on there now. Gear ratio on the tuners are supposed to be 18 to 1. A lot of people are knocking them, but they, they feel okay to me, you know. The, uh, now I did have an issue with, I forget which pickup it was, the, they are flimsy. I mean, they're, they'll move a little bit, so it's not very sturdy. I mean, I could fix that. Um, and one of the screws was out, just sticking out. It wasn't completely out, but so I had to screw it in. That's fine. <clears throat> Other than that, I mean, it's, you know, it's, and it's no sharp fret ends or nothing. And it's, we had a terrible cold spell too, a couple, a few weeks ago. But it feels really good. And like I said, it's beautiful. Now to give you a little backstory on this, I follow the bold shredder, which I'm sure a lot of you do. And this guitar, was made with some of his, his suggested specs. Uh, he met Leo James at the NAMM show, uh, I believe last year, and, and recently too, last week. Anyway, he said, you know, you need to make a guitar with this, and he did, with this spec and that spec, and he did. And uh, it's very good for 239 bucks. It, it, it's, you know, thin neck. This reminds me of a, I had a uh, Ibanez Prestige 652, and I paid, but I paid well over a thousand dollars for that. But there's something about it I didn't like. Um, you know, of course it had this, it had its, you know, the Floyd Rose or its version, the Ibanez version, or whatever it was. I'm just not a whammy bar guy. I'm lucky I can play a chord. <laughs> but anyway, so I sold that. I didn't lose too much. And. I, but this is this is a shred like if you can shred which I can't um, I don't think at my age I'll I can learn how to shred even if I wanted to but it does play good and all right so let me get set up here and turn on my uh, well actually before I do that let me put this down let me go over the specs real quick which I wanted to do and you, do, you can still get on the Amazon. I still see these on the Amazon. They have different colors. Um, I don't know what colors are available right now. This was ocean blue. And this is some purple type one. Uh, that's up there now. And then the specs are. Um, so it does. It's of course a double cut. And Eco 5 pickups. Hand pot 24 frets. 14 inch uh, radius fretboard. I did measure that. I did agree with that. Anyway, you can look at it, just take a snapshot of it, and take a snapshot of the specs there. All right, let me get let me get set up to play.